Good morning. We're doing a take two. Um, the internet was a little wonky in the office area, so we are in the church um, now. And so we will just um, begin again um, since we deleted our other stream. Um, in our prayers, we remember a church, uh, two of our congregations that are closing this weekend on the 8th, uh, one in Green Bay and one in Appleton. We lift them up in our prayers as we go about this Epiphany Day, this festival for Epiphany. If you hadn't picked up, if you were watching our previous stream that kind of got bogged down, um, this is a service of lessons and carols, um, three distinct portions with a few carols thrown in there for good measure. Um, to celebrate the light of Christ coming and the Magi coming in uh, to worship the Christ child. Let us begin uh, this morning prepping our hearts and minds uh, for our worship together. Oh, oh, oh. 
invite you to join with me in our Epiphany Dialogue. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Those who dwelt in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We have beheld Christ's glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people. God who sent the light into our world, God who shone in the Bethlehem manger, God who spreads the Spirit's rays, be with you all and also with you. Let us pray. Everlasting God, the radiance of all faithful people, you brought the nation to the brightness of your rising. Fill the world with your glory and show yourself to all the world through him who is the true light and the bright morning star, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first section, The Word Made Flesh, and our first lesson, then, is from Matthew chapter 1. Now, the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Tidings of a 
gospel true. Thus rejoicing, free from sorrow, praise his voice, sing, greet the morrow. Christ the child is born for you. Christ the child was born for you. And our second lesson is from Luke, chapter 2, verses 7 through 20. And Mary gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, whom angels greet with anthems sweet, while shepherds watch our keep? Our second section, Jesus, the King of Nations. Our third lesson is from Matthew chapter 2. 
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came from Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for it is written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. Far from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel." Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I also may go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star as they had seen it at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And Jesus, the light to the world, we hear in Luke chapter 2. After eight days had passed, 
it was time to circumcise the child, and he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. When the time came for the purification, according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. Then they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of two turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I invite you to join me in our responsive prayer. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Blessed are you, Prince of Peace. You rule the earth with truth and justice. Send your gift of peace to all nations of the world. Blessed are you, Son of Mary. You share your humanity. Have mercy on the sick and all who suffer this day. Blessed are you, Son of God. You dwell among us as the Word made flesh. Reveal yourself to us in word and sacrament, that we may bear your light to all the world. And let us pray, then, as the prayer that our Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary, the obedience of Joseph, 
the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the determination of the magi, the peace of the Christ child. And almighty God, creator, the Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. concludes our epiphany time together. I hope that your day is filled with light and that you will have an epiphany and see the Christ child in new and inventive ways this new year in 2023. And I invite you to receive this dismissal as we go about our day. Dear ones, go in peace guided by the light of Christ. Thanks be to God.